fairly predictable. Boogie Cousins going to play, not going to play. Kevin Durant not playing. Toronto's great at home. Toronto's got experience. Toronto's on cloud nine. Biggest game in the history of the franchise. Just a tsunami of energy in the building. Fantastic, fantastic uh, facility, fan support. And Golden State had 10 days off, and they looked like it. They shot 36% in the first half. They had 10 turnovers. They weren't getting back on defense. Their offensive and defensive rotations were totally out of rhythm. And yet, with six minutes left, they were in the game. Outside of Steph, nobody played well. They did a very good job on Kawhi Leonard. They did a very good job on Kawhi. But outside of Steph, nobody really played that well. And for Toronto, everybody Everybody, their second best player, their third best player, their fourth best player, their fifth best player. Mark the saw at his best game ever as a Raptor. Sayakam was 14 and 17. Fred Van Vliet was throwing crap up from all over the court. Danny Green had a terrible series against Milwaukee. He was good last night. So everything went right for the Raptors. Sometimes you walk into a building and you just have a feeling. This is why Vegas had them favored. It, 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 it's going to be a tough one. And they were behind early, and you just kind of felt it the whole night. It's going to be Toronto's night. Everybody was all synced in. Uh, they were rested enough, but didn't have, you know, that malaise of 10 days off. And by the way, when you're an old team, it's not like Golden State was burning it in their practices. They're trying to get Boogie healthy. They're trying to get KD healthy. They're trying to get Iggy healthy. So there's three reasons why everybody's going to say this morning, Colin, give Toronto respect. Number one, Golden State's a dynasty. Don't bail on dynasties, Okay. The five times Steve Kerr's ever trailed in the series with Golden State, they've won all of them. Very resilient team. MJ's Bulls were very resilient. Championship teams are, that's one of their strengths. They almost all have veterans. Uh, they almost all have trailed series. So don't bail on the Warriors. The second thing is Vegas had them favored in the game, and Vegas has this series going six games. It's not about beating Golden State. It's about beating them four times in two weeks. A lot of people beat Miami and Dwayne Wade. A lot of people. But over, but over the course of four years, it was hard to beat them four times in two weeks. That, it was hard with Duncan and the Spurs, the Showtime Lakers, MJ's Bulls. MJ's Bulls struggled with Utah. Utah could beat them. Phoenix beat them. Seattle beat them. Portland beat them. Knicks could beat them. Couldn't beat them four times in two weeks. The third thing is, listen, New England's been in nine Super Bowls. The NFL current dynasty, been in nine Super Bowls, never scored a touchdown in the first quarter. Why? Two weeks off is a long time, even for dynasties and champions. Listen, 10 days off is double the all-star break. You are not going to come in in rhythm. I thought Golden State's defense was the bigger problem. Uh, I thought they gave up way too many easy baskets, uh, missed assignments. I thought their defense was poor. Offensively, they'll be fine. They're the Warriors. Now, there are two things for Toronto uh, that are real, and these are not going to go away. Number one, there's a word in the NBA that fans never talk about, but it's all scouts talk about, and that word is length. Toronto is long. Sayakam and Gasol and Danny Green's long for a guard, and Ibaka and, 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 and uh, Kawhi, and they're long. And what does that mean? They make you take more difficult shots. They change the trajectory of your shot. That kind of length, they get tipped passes, tipped balls, the second rebound. Toronto's really long. And I know it doesn't really matter, but the longest team I've ever seen in NBA history was Jordan's Bulls. They would have Pippen was long and Harper and Rodman and Kukoc. And outside of Steve Kerr, it was just arms everywhere. Tipped passes everywhere. Second shot. That's not going away. Golden State's not going to shoot 60% in any of these games. They're going to make Golden State change the trajectory down low, perimeter. That's a real thing with Toronto. You saw that against Milwaukee, Orlando, and Philadelphia. They got guys out of their rhythm. Here's the second thing about Toronto, and this isn't going away. They're resilient as hell. They trailed Orlando 1-0. They trailed the Sixers 2-1. They trailed Milwaukee 2 -0. This is the advantage of veteran teams. That's why I didn't buy into Denver. It's why I didn't buy into Milwaukee yet. They're just too young. You know, it's just like life. You know, my 18-year-old daughter, you know, she's not, she doesn't have that resilience built up. You know, a bad Instagram photo can wreck her afternoon. <laughs> you get older in life, things that your house has to catch on fire for you to go crazy. Like, right? 
veteran NBA teams have a certain resilience. Gasol's been in a lot of games. Kawhi's been in a lot of games. Ibaka, Kyle Lowry. These guys have been in big playoff games, home, road. So those two things, they have real length, and that's going to give Golden State some offensive issues the whole series. It's real. And they're resilient. They got a bunch of old guys. A lot of 29, 30, 31 guys who have played in the playoffs. So Toronto's feisty, resilient, tough. I still like Golden State in this series. And I'll get to the Kevin Durant coming back in game four in a couple of minutes. But I do want to talk about this as I'm watching the game. Um, I am not a tax gypsy. I, I, you know, I'm a radio guy. I could do this show if it wasn't simulcast. I could do it in Wyoming. No state tax. I could do it in New Hampshire. No state tax. I live in California. I just moved from Connecticut. It's not the two highest tax states in the country. I'm not a tax gypsy. Okay, I just want to live where I want to live. I live by a beach. I don't want to have it 29 degrees in October. So, okay, I, I, I'm somebody that doesn't worry too much about taxes. But I do think if I was a pro athlete, I'd think about it a lot. Because as a pro athlete, I got like two contracts to make real money. That's it. I got, I've already had 12 in my life. I could have another five, right? Pro athletes had the first contract. You don't make much team controls it. Second and third, you make a lot. And by the fourth, you could be old and hurt. So I just want you to think about this story out this morning. Kawhi Leonard dealing with knee tendonitis. Oh, okay. Um, I know we all think Kawhi Leonard's going to stay or leave Toronto based on winning and losing. Let me just remind everybody, he left $31 million on the table leaving San Antonio. Are we all sure this isn't going to come down to dollars? If he left Canada to go to the Clippers, he'd give up $49 million. I got to be honest with you. I'm a pro athlete. No way in you know what I'm giving up $80 million. And again, I'm not a tax gypsy. But Toronto's well run. Toronto's got a good roster. It's Toronto. He can kind of hide, right? It's a hockey country. I'm sitting there last night, and I'm like, never forget, the Raptors were totally cool with him sitting out 20 games. Non-issue. Non-issue. They didn't like that in San Antonio. Non-issue. Secondly, Toronto's already said, $20 million penthouse, free. Food. Kawhi and Dine, Free. Don't kid yourself. That stuff matters. Nobody likes free stuff more than celebrities. It's amazing. I've ne you could give a George Clooney a free coffee mug. They'll run across the street in traffic for it. Celebrities love free stuff. Here's a $20 million penthouse for free. You don't think that has a little... Oh, I'm have to think about that. Here's the other thing. The East is a lot easier than the West. Kawhi plays hard. Kawhi's not going to last forever. Kawhi's already missed an entire season almost with injuries. Are we sure he's going to give up 80 large? Now, I will tell you this. I don't think he should have ever left San Antonio. I, I really think he made a mistake. They let him rest. Great owner. No state tax. He can be quiet. I mean, I, I actually think San Antonio was perfect for Kawhi Leonard, but that's over. And it didn't work out, and he left. And it's just nothing against the Clippers. But Paul George who had had injuries, stayed in Oklahoma City, even though he was from L.A. Kevin Durant, according to Rick Buecher, is fluctuating back and forth on leaving Golden State due to his most recent injury. Kawhi Leonard's got tendonitis. He's, beat, he's dealing with tendonitis. Are we sure he's not thinking... Do I want to give up $80 million? I can't do this forever. He's already got a house in L.A. He already bought it. It's already done. You know, I'm sitting there watching this thing last night, and, you know, we are all caught up because it's not our money. We're all caught up, but, oh, you got to go there, there. Is Kawhi Leonard really an L.A. guy? It's not like he's, you know, he's got this, like, Sha Shaq. When he went to Orlando to L.A., you're like, Shaq wanted to be a movie star. He wanted to be a hip-hop star. Orlando was too small for Shaq. Shaq had so many aspirations. And now you see him. He's on every TV commercial. Blake Griffin, like he wanted to be in L.A. Blake Griffin had, you know, stand-up comedy, real estate. He had aspirations, TV shows, podcasts. <laughs> Kawhi, I could argue the perfect place for Kawhi was San Antonio.
the city in Texas that doesn't get a lot of fanfare. So I'm watching last night, and 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 I'm and I'm I didn't I'm just watching this game, and then I read that headline this morning, and I think we we're, we're not considering that money thing. And when these athletes, Paul George and Durant, get hurt, one of the first things they think about is I I better take the guaranteed money. Kevin Durant right now would have to give up money to go to the Knicks. Paul George would have given up a lot of money to go to the Lakers. Kawhi Leonard's going to have to give up a lot of guaranteed money, guaranteed money to go to the Clippers. I'm not sure. Injuries change everything. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.